Um, mahilig din naman ako sa movie, hindi lang halata. So, ayoko lang nung masyadong morbid, masyadong horror, yan. Pero when it comes to romantic comedy, um, love stories, inspirational movie, sports movie, musical, and then, and all, yan, okay naman sa akin. Welcome back to my channel. This is your Papa Jobs. And if this is your first time to visit my YouTube channel, you can please click subscribe below this video and you can also click the notification bell for more updates. So, as of now, um, we are in still in enhanced community quarantine. So, wala tayong masyadong magawang content outside. Um, I chose to do movie reviews. So, why? Kasi I saw this Thai BL series entitled Theory of Love. So, ito yung ginagawa ng mga bida ron. Kaya sila nag in love because of the movie reviews. So, baka nagbabakasakali tayo dyan. <laughs> so, ngayon, um, I'll be doing my first movie review for this movie about LGBT, LGBTQ community. So, kaya ito yung damit ko, if you can see, Rainbow, Rainbow Pride. So, proud to be LGBT. LGBT. Ito sa so, lahat ng mga LGBT yung manonood. Please share this video. So, we will be doing a movie review for this movie entitled um, Mamu and a Mother 2. So, it was directed by Rod Singh. Ay, hindi ko alam kung tama yung pagkakapronounce ko ng apelido. It's S-I-N-G-H. So, Rod Singh. I also want to do movie review, not just because of the Theory of Love series. I also want to do movie review because um, mahilig din naman ako sa movie, hindi lang lata. So, ayoko lang nung masyadong morbid, masyadong horror, yan. Pero when it comes to romantic comedy, um, love stories, inspirational movie, sports movie, musical, and then, and all, yan, okay naman sa akin. So, if you want, um, if you will be suggesting a movie for me to review, you can just comment it on the the comment box below. So now we will start the movie review for Mamu and the Mother 2. Actually, this SAQ days, Thai BL or Thai Boy Love Stories um, became more popular in YouTube. So most of the LGBTQ community in the Philippines are really looking for um, for some series or maybe, maybe movie in the Philippines that has the same genre as Thai BL. Siguro while searching, they found this movie entitled Mamu and a Mother 2. So, marami naman na tayong mga gantong kind of movies before. So, we have Die Beautiful, Dead Ma Walking, um, Panty Sister. We already have um, LGBT movies shown in the cinemas before and some of those are really award-winning movies. Actually, a friend of mine also referred this movie. So, he sent me a copy of this movie for me to watch it. When I received the copy, I decided to watch it um, alone with earphones before I sleep. Why? Because they, they told me that there are mga scenes 94 kids. So I chose to watch it alone. The cast of the movie, actually the main cast of the movie are just five. So first is Miss Iyamina as Mamu. So she played Mamu and then Aaron Villa Flor played Vincent or the partner of Mamu. And then, EJ Hallorina played Bona and she's the niece of Mamu. And then, Bona has two love interests here. So, bata pa siya. Oh. So, the love interest of Bona in the story is Franco and Kiko, which has been played by Marcus Patterson and Giovanni Manansala. So, let's start um, for the short plot of the movie. The movie is all about a sex worker which already on her 40 years age so nasa 40 na siya above hindi na madamang get what's her age in the movie but she is actually struggling why because as a 40 year old sex worker syempre yung, yung ano yung competition doon sa work nila is really high that's why she decided to save for a breast implant but while she is saving for her breast implant it, her sister suddenly died and then she assumes the position of her sister to be a mother to Bona. So, bigla siya nagkaroon ng pamangkin while she also lives and of course provide for her partner which is Aaron Villaflor or Vincent in the movie. So, as the movie goes by, habang tumatagal yung movie, nagkakaroon na ng mga challenges. Why? Kasi syempre she needs to provide not just for her and for her partner but also for her niece. As time go as time goes by, troubles troubles arises. 
So, ano yung mga trouble na dumating kay ma'am? So, nagkaroon siya ng shortage in, in her savings, of course, and then she need to let go of Vincent because Vincent also, also has a dream that, she, that he wants to pursue. But of course, because of the fear of losing Vincent, Mamu don't want to allow him to go to abroad, to work abroad. Natatakot si Mamu na baka pag umalis si Vincent, hindi na siya babalik. So, yun yung dilemma between dito kay Mamu and kay Vincent. And then, to Bona naman, Bona actually, Bona actually has um, insecurities in the movie. She felt like Mamu don't want her to be to be living with her. Kasi parang feeling niya, parang pasan, pinapasan siya ni Mamu, nahihirapan si Mamu. Oh, because of her. So, yun yung struggle niya dito. So, she mostly opened up to her friends. Ito siya nagkukwento na parang ayaw na nga niya. Nahihiya na siya kay Mamu. And then, suddenly, there are, there are things that happened to Bona that led her to do what is Mamu doing. She will also become a sex worker in the movie. But just for a short period of time. Why? Kasi there will be an accident or health issues that will involve Bona in the movie. And then, of course, yun yung pinakamalaking problema ni Mamu sa movie na to. Kasi ayaw niyang magaya sa kanya si Bona. She really wants Bona to get back at school and study. There was a scene in the movie, dun sa part na nagkaroon na ng problema si Mamu kay Bona, there was a part in the movie na talagang medyo nung simula ng diri ako. And then afterwards, parang naiiyak na ako kasi parang nafe-feel ko yung nafe-feel ni Mamu and then at the end, natawa na lang ako when she goes out the room, nasabi na lang, tinanong siya nung foreigner na kausap niya what's your name again? and then na nasabi na lang niya, it's Erna Erna Lee, <laughs> so doon talaga ako tawa ng tawa, kasi for us LGBT, LGBTQ community, you know naman what's Erna in our language <laughs> so matatawa kayo on that part ang um, yung part na yung mixed emotions eh. maiiyak ka, matatawa ka mararamdaman mo yung ano yung sacrifice na ginawa ni Mamu as a mother. Of course, this is just a movie review. I want you to see the movie for yourself. So, I will not tell you the end of the story of what happened to Mamu, what happened to Vincent, to Bona and to Franco and Kiko. I will just siguro I will I don't want to be spoiler though for those who haven't seen it yet. Eh. So, um as of now siguro I will just give you um five Five of the lessons I have learned in the movie. The first lesson that I learned is, is of course, never judge people from the way you see them. Because you don't, once you see them, you don't, you don't know anything about them, pa. So it's a good, you, you really need to dig deeper to know them better, for them to, for you to understand them more. Because sometimes we're wrong. When you are in that situation, we're in you talagang survival na. Yung parang kailangan mong kumita today dahil pag wala kang kinita today, walang kakainin yung family mo. So, let's understand the reason behind the, the, those people who are doing this kind of work. Kasi some of them are really, are, some of them really don't want to do that. They just need to do that. Diba? We are very lucky to have choices in life. O, siguro sasabihin ng iba, May choice naman sila, hindi lang nila ginagawa, hindi lang sila nagsisikap. It's still really hard to say, di ba? It's really hard to say it kasi you're not on their shoes eh. Try to fill their shoes or to wear their shoes, you'll know it better. So yun yung lesson na isa natutunan ko. So never judge them because they are prostitute, di ba? Try to know them better and if you can give them advices na you can do these things naman aside from that, para din maging safe ka or para maging safe yung family mo um, the more legal you are doing kung mas legal yung ginagawa nyong work mas mas safe mas safe kayo di ba parang ganun so that's the first lesson I've learned in the movie the second the second thing I learned in the movie is that we all have families they are understanding they love us they care for us but never ever forget to find good friends so here in the movie Mamu has a good friend which is played by Petit. So her name in the movie is Petit as well. In the movie, Petit is not a sex worker. Look at the brighter side. She is not a sex worker but she is not judging her friend of what her, 
of what she is doing. Petit never judge Ia in the movie na bakit yan yung work niya. But of course, she is suggesting Ia to pursue her passion, to pursue what he loves to do rather than um, doing that kind of work. Uh, you learn a lesson, a lot of lessons with their friends in the movie. Once, one, one of my friends told me before that friends are God's blessing. So, there are angels in disguise sent by God when you need help. So, love your friends. That's one of the lessons that I have learned in this movie. Never take your friends for granted. Sa totoo lang, syempre, tao lang din ako. I've made that kind of mistakes before. And I realized that, of course, I need to take care of my friends as well. They are not just... Love them, not because you need to, but because you really love them. So, yun yung isang lesson. The third lesson I learned in the movie is about passion. Pursuing your passion. I won't tell you a lot about what happened in the movie but actually Mamu loves cooking in the movie so marireveal naman dun sa movie na mahilig talaga siya magluto sometimes we need to explore first para malaman natin sa ano yung strength natin and ano yung weaknesses so in this movie si Mamu talaga is a really good cook pero parang because of um, her responsibilities um, malaking responsibilities na masyado hindi niya naiisip na kaya nung pagluluto na isustain yung mga responsibilities niya to pay for her bills, to provide for her family. Kasi maliit yung kita doon. Ganun yung una niya naisip. So, that's why she entered being a sex worker. But at the end of the movie, you'll see how Mamu follow her heart and do what she really loves to do. So, makikita niya yung transition from sex worker and then pinagsabay niya yung cooking and then sex worker siya at night and then at the end of the movie, namili siya. So, you'll see how Mamu succeeded in the movie. She became successful. So, that's one of, um, ayan, medyo na-spoil ko na. Pero that's one of, that's one of the best lesson in the movie. That if you make your passion, your profession, you'll definitely succeed. Not now. Maybe not now, maybe not tomorrow, but in the near future. Just believe in yourself and that believe in your talent. Aww. So that's the third um, lesson I learned in the movie. The fourth lesson that I learned in the movie is the art of saving money. I'm so guilty of that. Don't save money. Alam ng mga friends ko yan. Saving money is sometimes easy to say, but it's really hard to do. In the movie, you'll see Mamu and Bona having their own coin, coin bank. Coin bank or alcansha. Um, so, pag may extra, pag may extra si Mamu, She, she is really saving for her breast implant, di ba? And then, pag may extra siya, nuhulugan din niya yung coin bank ni Bona. For, for some, siguro sa inyo dyan na magaling nang mag-save, it's not a lesson. But for me, it's really a lesson. Kasi I don't have savings. So, ganun talaga. Iba-iba tayo ng lessons na nakikita sa mga movie. And of course, so that's the fourth. So, that's the fourth, ha? So, of course, the last, but definitely not the least. I just realized that love really knows no boundaries. Aww. You can always get and give love to anyone, to any age, to any gender, to any status in life. So yun yung sinasabi ko na love really knows no boundaries. Kasi in this movie, you will see different kind of love. Friendly love, romantic love, um, motherly love. Yun talaga yung isa sa lessons na ma... Mostly naman ng LGBTQ movies, um, isa yan sa mga lesson. And of course, another thing about love, makikita mo dito sa movie, is the love of Bona, or the love of Mamu to Bona. You don't need to have a real child. You, do, you don't need to have your own child. You don't need to be a woman just to be called a mother. For me, it should be based on how you raise and how you love your child unconditionally. I, I don't care if you're a man or a woman. Single dad can be a mother and a father at the same time. Aww. One of the precious, I think one of the precious love in the world is the love of a mother. I, I once saw a, a beauty contest, I think it's Miss World, and then Miss Inja won. The question to Miss Inja is, is something like this. Um, if, 
if there is a profession in the world that you think should receive the highest paid salary, what profession should it be? And I am close to my mom. That's the first thing Miss India said. If there is a profession that should receive the highest salary in the world, it should be our mother. The, but the salary should not just be in monetary, but also in respect. Yun yung sinabi niya. So, we should respect our mom. Kasi for, for, the, for mothers, hindi naman nila kailangan ng monetary or money. Parang to give back the love they are giving us. Eh. They are loving us unconditionally. What should we need to do is to respect them and love them back lang. Di ba? Hindi nila pinipilit yun. But we, their child, should give it to them. Di ba? Parang sa akin, kasi it's our moral obligations eh. Moral obligation mo na yun. Your mom raised you well. So you should take care of them. So ang ganda ng answer na ni Miss India, no wonder she won. So, medyo mahaba na yung movie review ko. Movie, movie review usually takes um, 5 minutes to 8 minutes. Pero yung sa akin, dahil first naman to, I think, pwede ko naman siya paabutin ng 10 minutes. So, that's all for tonight. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. Um, if you have movies na nakita nyo na or napanood nyo na and you want me to make a movie review of it, can you please comment um, the title of the movie on the comment box below so I can check it. Um, I'll be releasing one movie review per week. Expect nyo na na every week meron kayo makitang gantong muka at iba't ibang moving marinig na kwento from me. So, the first movie I've chose is an LGBTQ movie. Why? Because obviously, I'm a proud member of LGBTQ. So, sa mga LGBTQ, please um, support my channel and hi to all of you out there. Love wins!